How's it going you guys? Uh, this is Erkian. Today I'm gonna be working on uh, um, a SanDisk flash drive that uh, came in for uh, recovery not too long ago. Uh, it's been a really 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 long time uh, since I posted on this channel. Things have been extremely extremely busy. I took some time off uh, for vacation. Finally I'm back, uh, back to the grind. And the first uh, case that uh, fell into my hands in the queue, hopefully by the end of the video we can get access to this data. I'll walk you through the steps uh, of what uh, I do and how I do it uh, to figure out things. Um, I'm a little short on supplies. Like I said, I just got back from vacation, so a lot of things that I ran out of, I simply forgot to reorder. And uh, as a result, today we're going to have to get a little bit creative with uh, tools and consumables that we got here uh, on this bench. This is a flash drive we're going to be working on today. I have uh, a NAMP uh, monitor that I got from Amazon, link in the description below. It's like the cheap $10 version or whatever, but this is a really good first uh, troubleshooting test tool uh, for anything USB related that I work with and uh, plugging it in to this thing here uh, this cable has a button it starts and turns off power going into this monitor and uh, it's connected to a DC power supply that I've also picked up from Amazon this power uh, is running off of a USB port on that power supply and that constant 5 volt feed. So let's see what we're gonna monitor when everything is set in motion. And right off the bat we get really really high numbers. Guys I'm not gonna run it low, I'll, I'll just explain uh, that usually uh, devices uh, like this uh, should not consume that much. I'm gonna plug in a good working device for comparison and you guys see that it's running at around 0 0.04. Uh, powering it on I feel that it's getting warm and I can feel that it's getting warm around the connector area we should be looking at anything that looks um, discolored anything that looks uh, kind of cooked but um, relatively all of these components look fine obviously the source of heat is where the problem lays most of the time this mode here uh, for diodes and uh, if we sh if we hit uh, both probes on a component that isn't short, uh, it's gonna make a beep like this. So what we want to do, we want to probe all of the ceramic components that are up front here to find out if anything, if anything, is sitting on the ground. We have this one. We have this one. And we have this one. Let's uh, see if we can maybe make our life a little easier and uh, get away with just uh, misplacing uh, or pushing uh, these capacitors onto one of their terminals instead of. Uh, having them both connected. This could be very easily done with um, tweezer headed soldering iron. Let me just turn on the fume extraction. Now you see what I've done is I just pushed it over to one of the pads. Now, if we go back and test it again, you see, we don't have a ringing anymore. The component is pushed over to the side. We're not ringing on both of them. And this line is no longer ringing because this end is connected here, you see? This capacitor wasn't short. This is ground. 
this is ground this capacitor was not short this line connects to this line so this connect this shorted out here as well now we remove this short here the short on this capacitor is gone and we still have a short here so let's remove that and see if that's gonna take care of the problem for us we're gonna do the same thing push it to the side and again the ringing is gone plug it in and give it a quick test and what do we see now well, we see that it's no longer consuming so much. <laughs> is it good or is it bad? It uh, could be a little bit of both. So let's hook it up to a DeepSpar USB stabilizer. Now that we know it's no longer in short, it's safe. All right, so I got uh, the control panel right here. Uh, power on. and no nothing nothing is happening Let's see all right so that piece actually needed to be in place um, we're getting uh, 0.06 on the read uh, and now if we turn it off and plug it in here and power it on we're getting 28 gigs capacity SanDisk Ultra our device is linked and what else if we go into our studio, for example, um, we have the Sendis culture right here with the FAT32 partition. If we go into hex view and edit, we'll be able to see that it's a functional device and it's got data on it because all of this, it means something. All right. so. Um, now it's just a matter of uh, cloning this thing out oh I wanted to show you something how a short can be uh, detected if you don't have cold spray and if you don't have uh, a multimeter so let's just move things back to where they were Um, so the device should be in short again right so theoretically I don't think we can fix a capacitor uh, by removing it and putting it back I think it will still be in short and it is uh, so when it's in short if we want to um, figure out where that short is this is um, a thermal sticker okay this is something that uh, we label cases with so what you can do is you can set it up where you feel it's getting hot and then uh, when you turn it on you're just gonna have to <laughs> cook it a little bit you're gonna feel the warmth uh, and it doesn't take much uh, for uh, the heat to stain this paper it's gonna stain fairly quickly and now we can turn it off I already feel it through my glove we see that this spot right there has a dark dot on it and if we look on our device that's where that uh, dot lines up so this component 
January sending all that heat is the uh, guy that needed to be dumped. So let's do just that. Take it. Push it over. Plug it in and power on. Wait, <laughs> I plugged it into the wrong device. Plug it on, plug it into DeepSpark. Power it up and we're back in business. So let's uh, clone this thing out, get the data out and uh, we can move on to the next case. My queue is uh, massive this week. After being gone for two weeks, I have a, literally a box full of uh, flash devices that need to be worked on. And then I'm back to the lab working on some hard drives in the evening. So guys, I know you missed uh, hard drive work on this channel, but um, with that being said, a lot of footage had been gathered over the last, I don't know, like six, seven months uh, on hard drive material. I just need to really uh, find a, a weekend, uh, lock myself out uh, somewhere on the deck and uh, uh, sit with my computer and sort through it, organize it and edit it, at least get it ready for editing and pay somebody to edit it. And then, um, yeah, and there's going to be more footage of that as well thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you all in the next episode this was fun hopefully uh some of you can use this information to help yourself or your friends or your loved ones or your clients and just remember one thing to back up your data as frequently as possible because you never know when that monstrous data loss can happen